Welcome to the Maryland Historical Society and our Stitching History Project. We're about halfway through uh, our six-week project, uh, and I'd like to thank everyone out there who's contributed to our Kickstarter campaign. That's really gotten us off the ground, uh, but there's a lot more going on with Stitching History. As you can see behind me, the ladies are hard at work putting together the stripes of the Star Spangled Banner flag. Uh, we have almost completed the sewing on our eight stripes uh, of the short stripes, the, the, the short stripes that are next to the canton. Uh, we are finishing up the piecing of that blue canton uh, and we're gonna be placing our stars on it uh, coming this week. Uh, so that's one of the kind of, it's gonna be one of the fun, fun parts of this project is to get the stars on the blue field and make sure they're spangled. Right? This is the Star Spangled Banner. Um, that means that the stars are not sitting up like you see them on flags today, but they're tilted just to the right or just to the left. Uh, and it gives the flag kind of a shimmer. The, the stars look like they're flashing in a spangled sky. Um, that's where the, 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 the term comes from. Uh, where we've started working on our long stripes, we're on the fourth stripe, and that's what, if you are coming down for one of our public days, that's what you're going to be working on, the 42-foot stripes of the flag. We knew they were long, but you don't really understand quite how long they are until you start to unroll the fabric. Uh, and when you get it out on the table and you look down the, the length of those tables and you go, oh, wow, <laughs> this is a big flag. <laughs> the first couple of days of the project were really very interesting because uh, that's really when we figured out that we've never made a flag before <laughs> and there were things about it and I'm sure there were things that Mary Pickers Guild took for granted um, that we had to learn from the beginning whether it was uh, how to sew in this fabric it's it's just so very loosely woven that it's it's different than anything you've ever touched um, anything that any of our, our ladies have ever stitched with which way do the seams fold uh, that's that's a big pro that's a big uh, question that that you need to answer, and it, it needs to be consistent as you go through the flag. This is a hands-on history project, you know, learning some of those sewing techniques and sewing you know tricks, basically. That I'm sure Mary Pickersgill, it was just daily life for her, um, has been such a rewarding experience uh, to kind of really be able to put ourselves in her shoes. But it's not only that, it's, it's thinking about what this flag means to the country, uh, what it meant to establishing our national identity. You know, uh, the questions of the time period in the War of 1812 are, you know, what is American citizenship? Uh, we're still trying to define that at this point in time. And, and symbols like the flag help us. You know, it's, it started with conversations with, with our volunteers. You know, it's not just about sewing. It's about who we are as Americans. What does that mean in our world today? What's the concept of freedom? What does citizenship mean? You know, all of these questions, they're, they're questions people were asking themselves in 1812 and 1813. That's a lot of the reason why we were fighting this war. You know, we're still asking them in different ways today. And, and I think that's the real strength of a democracy is that um, in a democracy, you always ask yourself those questions. Um, because that's how you make sure that you continue to be free.